guys, this is uh, Shafiq Ismail, Chef1 on BBO, email chef1955 at yahoo.com. Hey, today we're going to have a great, great video. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we're going to talk about Bergen Razors. And if you don't know what Bergen Razors is, then this is going to be fairly educational for you. Okay, so yeah, click on the like button on all my videos. Can you do that? A thumbs up? I would appreciate it. Okay, sit back, relax, and buckle up. We're going to start uh, with a fairly simple uh, bid. And uh, it may get a little complicated, but it's not really uh, that difficult to pick up. Okay, so good luck. And if there's any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, all right, here we start. Okay, so North bid once paid, East passed, and we have uh, <clears throat> two, four, five, six, nine points with three spades. Okay, so Bergen Razors generally only works <clears throat> with spades and hearts. Okay, only with the majors. All right, so when you have uh, six to ten points and three spades support you'd normally but two spades. That's That's it Just two spades. Okay, so that would be your bid uh, Let's look at another deal How many points we have here? It's four six seven nine Nine and three is twelve. So partner bids one spade You cannot bid two spades because that's going to be six to ten you have 12 points, you got a singleton heart. How would you bid this? Would you want to force to game? Generally, yes, you want to force to game, so you would bid two clubs. Force to game, whatever partner says, you would then bid, well, because two clubs is forcing to game. So whatever your partner bids thereafter, you bid spades, uh, so either two spades or depending on what partner bids, um, you show that you have support in spades and you'll end up in game or even even at uh, slam depending on partners and as long as you tell partners that you want to be in game okay all right let's look at something else let's look at another hand um, five and three is eight points okay six to ten points yes three spades yes so you were two spades good Four, seven, nine, three spades. You got a singleton diamond. <clears throat> you can make it 10, 11 points, maybe. Okay. Uh, but for the time being, let's go ahead and just put two spades with this hand. I'll show you um, when we get to another hand how you'd uh, want to put it. Okay. So for the time being, uh, it's three spades between six to nine, uh, six to ten points, basically. Uh, you'd bid two spades. Okay, let's look at a good another hand. Standard two spades, no difference there. Uh, two, three, four, same thing, two spades. Uh, four, eight, and eleven, twelve. Is that right? Uh, seven and four is eleven, twelve. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is this a game a going hand? I would think so. I would think so. So, how would you but uh, show your partner that you want to be in game and you want to force partner? So, what you do is you put two hearts over partner's one spade bird. Two hearts would show at least five heart and a game going hand again. Whatever partner says thereafter, you chose support in spades and you'll end up in either game or slam, uh, it, depending on partner's hand. Uh, okay, so uh, you first put your hearts, telling partner you've got a game forcing hand, and then you uh, support spades. All right, good. Let's go to another hand. 4 7 10. Is this a game going hand? No, not really. Ten points is sort of the the maximum of your bid, so you would go uh, 
Well, Bartlett said one spade, so you, you just book two spades. Uh, four, six, nine, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. Um, what would you bid with this hand? <clears throat> now, typically, if you had um, another, let's say you had um, three clubs, three diamonds, four hearts, and three spades. And with this hand, um, you really think that you want to be in no trumps, depending on what you're playing, okay? If you're playing uh, master points or imps, remember, um, if you look at one of my previous videos, you'll find that, uh, especially in a pairs game, in MPS, you'd rather be in no trump if you're going to be making the same number of tricks as you would if you had bid in a in a in a in a game uh, with uh, uh, playing in spades, so if you're playing in the contract four spades or five spades or maybe even with this hand you might even reach six spades, um, but if you bid six no trumps and also make twelve tricks, you're obviously going to get a better score all right and you may beat your opposition uh, by that extra 10 points uh, that can give you a top and you know what a big difference that can make so generally i don't know uh if you got four three 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 with exactly three spades uh and uh, one four four carter and then uh, the other two is three carters uh, you'd bid three no trumps that would specifically say four three 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 all right so what i'm saying is with this hand i'll put three no trumps or i might even be looking for uh slam by the way uh to put three no trumps it's got to be 12 to 15. you have 17 so this hand um should really be looking for slam all right let's go into the next hand uh, four, five, six. That's a normal standard two spades. Uh, four, seven, nine, ten, fourteen. You want to force the game. Where do you want to play? You definitely want to play in spades um, because of your singleton and your long diamonds. Your partner's got the right club for you. You really want to be in no trumps, but. Uh, let's see what partner has to say. So what you're going to do is put two diamonds forcing to game. And then take it from there. Okay. Uh, standard two spades, three carter. And between six to ten points. Three carter spade between six to ten points. Has 11 count, okay, so it goes, uh, do you want to force the game? No, not really. You do not want to force the game because a partner could have 13 points uh, or even 12 points. And and uh, what do we have? 8 and 3 is 11. So let's say 12 partner has plus 11 makes it 23. And what do we say we need? Uh, to be in game, we need about 26. Okay, so we are definitely short of game. But will you put two spades with this? Uh, no, because we do not know what partner has. We just saying that the minimum that partner would have is 12. Assuming partner had 16, would you then want to be in game? Of course, but you do not know uh, what your partner is. So let's see how you would relate your point count uh, to partner. So well, how would it go? Uh, one spade by partner, uh, you would put one or trump. Remember we're talking about two over one convention. Uh, one or trump is a forcing bid that says, partner, please, uh, uh, f I'm forcing you to bid another suit. Okay, so partner will then either bid uh, two clubs. Let's say partner bids two diamonds. Okay, now you bid three spades. All right, why three spades? To show between 11 and 12. 
it's actually 10 to 12 points with exactly three spades. All right? That's how you build this hand. Four, 12, 13 plus three is 16. You want to be in game at least, so you've got two diamonds, and then show support with spades later, okay? Now, let's look at a different type of hand, and, uh, and this is uh, what the crux is of this video, is to uh, teach you big and raises. All right, so this is how you would do it with three card of spade. Let's try and learn what we're going to do with a four card spade suit. All right, remember, um, it could be spades or hearts. It's only the major suit that we're talking about. Okay, let's continue years back. Um, what it basically entails is to show your partner um, uh, your exact number of spades and also um, your point count. All right, so this is how it goes. If you have four spades, assuming your partner bid spades and you have four uh, to support with, and if you have between seven uh, to nine points, you would bid three clubs. With four spades, you would bid three clubs. But if you had 10 to 12 points with four spades, you would bid three diamonds. Yes, three diamonds. Okay, so this particular hand, let's have a look. How many points do we have? We have four spades, so uh, this is definitely a Bergen hand. And we go um, one spade by partner, and then we have uh, four, five, six, seven points, and we said between seven to nine, uh, it would be three clubs. Okay, so you put three clubs, and it's alertable, um, an online bridge. You do the alert in uh, club bridge. You let your partner, uh, your partner has to alert it. Okay, that is the Bergen race, which means specifically you got a four card spade suit and the point count is seven to nine. Okay, let's look at another hand. All right, uh, again, uh, we have a seven points and four card spade, so uh, this will be exactly like we did. Uh, it looks like a better hand though. With a singleton diamond, long clubs, depending on what partner has, but nevertheless. Okay, so you're still going to bid the same thing. Uh, one spade by partner, and then it's our bid here. And what would you bid with this hand? Three clubs. Why three clubs? Showing seven to nine points, and exactly four spades. Four or better. Okay? Good. Oops, all right, let's take that one. We got four spades, but what's our point count this time? It's one and three is four, eight, eleven, thirteen. We want to be in game, right? Okay, remember one of my previous videos? All right, you're not going to put four spades, but what are you going to put here? You're going to put two no trumps, which is Jacoby showing at least four spades and uh, 12 plus hand, uh, 12 plus points in in our hand, in your hand. Okay, so uh, this is a two no trump. And again, same situation. You've got to uh, alert if it's online. Otherwise, your partner has to alert during a club game. All right, good. 4, 8, 11, 13. All right, again. Same story as the previous one. We want to be in game, and uh, the way to show that is two no trumps, showing uh, 12 plus points and four card of spade. <coughs> Same thing. Five, seven, seven points, four card of spade, three clubs. Yes, I heard you. Very good. All right, there's four points. We have less than what we said that we need for three clubs. So, all right, now here's a typical hand. What would you do with this hand? 
you got to show partner that you have force paid support all right and you got to show your partner that you're weak but we do have a bid if you had um, uh, s uh, seven to nine points we do have a bid if you have 10 to 12 with four spades what do you do with uh, with four points if you have zero to uh, six points and you have our four spades generally you would put three high spades three spades that's just uh, it just indicates to partner that you have four cards paid and you are weak okay so three spades is your bid in this hand eight points so it goes three clubs three clubs again three clubs again you got a void here, so uh, you can probably uh, either bid uh, gain because you really have a fantastic hand with four spades. Um, I know it's only eight points, but uh, you remember your your void is at least three points, maybe even four, and it's with a fourth spade you have another point. So uh, I would I would bid three diamond, showing a, a real good hand with this. Okay, it might uh, confuse the partner um, if you say that you have uh, 10 to 12, but uh, I think he'll forgive you if things go wrong. <laughs> All right. Four, seven, four, six, nine, eleven. 4, 6, 9, 11. This is not typical. Okay, again, you have a singleton. Uh, I still need, I like this hand to be in game, but nevertheless, if we just <coughs> go according to what we've discussed earlier, we said that between 10 to 12 points and 4 spades, you would bid what? What would you bid? 3 diamonds. Okay, nothing to do with diamonds, it's artificial, it's just showing your point count between 10 to 12 and 4 spades. Um, nine points, so you'd bid three clubs, yes. Um, six points, all right, four spades, what would you bid with this? You'd bid three spades, yes. Why three spades? It's less than seven points. Okay, you've got to take the void into consideration because that is really powerful. It's, uh, it's, it's got a lot of content equity-wise and you can make uh, plenty of tricks and roughs, especially with your four-card spade suit. So you really want to push over here. And I would do the same as I did previously. I bet three diamonds showing a better than just seven points. Okay, so I would show 10 points. 10 plus to partner and I would put three diamonds with this okay nothing to do with diamonds that's just artificial uh, 4 8 10 12 14 okay what would you do with this come on do you put three diamonds no no do you put three clubs no do you put three spades no we've been through this before come on yes Yes, I think you have it with four spades, game going hand, you have to put two, no trumps, showing 12 plus points and at least four spades, okay, great, all right, four points only, you want to tell partner you have support, so you'd put three spades, very good, excellent, okay, so that is birth and raises. So if you have uh, three spades, we've been through that, between uh, six and ten points, you're going to bid uh, two spades, okay? The contract would then be two spades. But if you have something slightly better with three card of spade, you'd bid a no trump and then jump in spades uh, on your next bid. 
All right, and then just a summarized version. Three clubs, shows, uh, seven to 10, seven to nine, and three diamonds is 10 to 12, okay? All right, I hope this helps. If there's any questions, uh, let me know my email address shaf1955 at yahoo.com hey if you enjoyed this uh, video please uh, give me a thumbs up uh, click on the like so uh, I, at least I have some kind of um, feedback from you okay talk to you later enjoy bye